Well, it's, uh, it was built in 1926. Um, it's, uh, it's a fairly classic architecture for its time. Uh, it's full of uh, tiles that have been imported from France. They're encaustic tiles. Um, it was in disrepair for about 11 years before we got to it. Uh, it was uh, it was it was just a it was just a dump. It was it was unused. Okay, so this, this is the main uh, the main dining room, and um, down here we're trying to get a um, sort of a, a, a nicer sort of uh, feel. It's not too intimidating for too many people, so it's um, it's a very approachable sort of in its decorations, and the, the furniture is all wood and uh, fairly tastefully done. Um, you know, we try and avoid plastic as much as possible. Um, it, the, the whole feel of this place is meant to be to do with nature. You know, the, all these interiors were um, were done by a couple of guys. The, um, as far as decorations and um, furniture is concerned, we got a guy called um, Duke, who um, who's fairly famous within Hanoi, he, and um, he's sort of been in charge of our um, our interiors. Uh, and for the walls, we've got a young Vietnamese guy called um, Chuk Cody. And um, he's just done this uh, this lovely um, and subtle lotus pattern on the walls here. Some of the furniture down there we, we had made by a, um, a carpenter in um, Hat Day province. Uh, so it was personally made. We just showed him a picture off the internet and he made it for us. Food concept is uh, natural, healthy, wholesome, nutritious food. Um, it's food that typically you can't find at uh, most other cafes in Hanoi. I mean, essentially, this place is is, is a little way uh, Melbourne in Hanoi, and um, you know, some people have already commented uh, about this on um, on various online forums. That uh, essentially, this is you know a Melbourne cafe stuck in the middle of the old quarter of Hanoi.